Now to a growing tradition along the Willamette River. The annual Eugene 2024 Polar Plunge took place today and gathered crowds that staff say is some of the largest they've seen. KEZI 9 News reporter Noah Chavez went to the plunge to speak with the participants who braved the frigid water. The Willamette River played host to the annual Polar Plunge, bringing in a host of clubs and organizations, the young and the old, and the freezing and not freezing. I thought this event was great. We had over 400 people sign up and participate. Of those, 100 people ran in our timed 5K. Um, so the community support has been amazing this year. Although the plunge is the highlight of the event, there was also a 5K run and costume contest. The funds raised will directly go to Special Olympics Oregon and help the athletes. Toasty. Good fun. Yeah, it was good. It was good fun. It was, it was, it was fun. It's it 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 cold, but fun. Chilly, bit Worth chilly. it. Spend a Saturday. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. Keep it coming. Absolutely. Yeah. No, we're, we're excited to be back next year, too. Oh, it's such a great event. I'm so excited to make this a family tradition. Um, my partner is a coach for Special Olympics, so we wanted to come out and support. And we're just supporting her. Yeah. <laughs> friends, friends and family support. Yeah. yeah. One, Once all 20 groups of plungers took their dip in the Willamette, it was a mad rush to get in dry clothes. Unfortunately, not if you were being interviewed. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God. I'm um, oh, God. That's worse than the 5K. Oh. A great opportunity to raise a little money for charity, and I get to go, you know, be goofy and, you know, dive in freezing cold water. Um, the moment I got in there, I'm like, oh my gosh. At the end of the event, the amount of money raised was $70,000, with organizers more than thrilled by the number and the plungers feeling... Um, I'm from Arizona. It is not something I'm used to to be this freezing right now. Reporting in Eugene, Noah Chavez, KZI 9 News.